where did I put my shoes? Hold on, wait one second. This quite possibly might be the place where I get murdered. It's adorable. Like the cutest little cabin, but I, I could get murdered here. Stop, this is so cute. This place is quite possibly the cutest place that I've ever stayed. I don't know where my light's at right now. I'm trying to figure it out. This place is so dang cute. I'm just in awe. As I was driving here, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the country. Like I am so far out. I'm not even in New York. Like I am not in New York. And then I started driving down the road and it's a one lane road. Like if you run into another car, someone is reversing and that's the only option. So as I was driving down, I was like, oh my gosh, did I make the right choice? Like, is this so silly of me to be staying out here? But this place is legit the cutest place I have ever stayed. The only problem is there must be a fire alarm or something that is running out of battery and it's beeping. I think it's up there. I'm just in a state of shock that this is where I'm staying. Like this would be the most perfect place to stay if I was looking for a writer's retreat. And like, I, I might do some writing here. This is seriously so adorable. I have to show you the outside first and then we'll move inside. Just, this, wow, I'm just. <laughs> okay, so I had to park the whole way over there. There's like a huge parking area, which is really nice. But then you've got this walkway and this little creek. I've got some neighbors. Look how cute with like the bird houses. We've got Fancy crying, she doesn't know what to do. But this is the cabin, just like tucked away right here. They've got a nice Adirondack chair over there to hang out in. They also have two more with a fire pit. Just like, wow, I'm just in a state of shock. In a state of shock. This place is absolutely adorable. There's this little screened in porch right here that has got rocking chairs in it. And then we've got this screen and porch with a cute crying dog because she doesn't know what's going on and I just left her to go outside. You're okay. So this area is all screened in, but it's got like a grill, a nice table, just like gorgeous hangout area. I mean, this is, <sighs> wow, I feel so secluded. But like I said, I might get murdered here. So it's totally fine. Okay, let's go inside. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, we gotta find that beeping noise too, come on. Let me see if my camera will like this lighting. It probably won't, but it's got like, I mean, it's a freaking like log cabin. This is the kitchen. And then we've got the washer and dryer, which I will not be using. I don't need to use it. And then like right through here, I mean, we'll get there in a second, but like this place is just serious goals. Okay, you can look straight through. And then we are in the living room and ignore the beep. I hope it's not as loud for you as it is for me. It's so loud. Dining room table that I just throw my crap on, so please ignore it. it usually looks cuter than that, but so nice. It, through here is where we've got that little screen in porch and two rocking chairs. I'm not gonna open up that door. I don't feel like messing with it, but then, okay, this is like all just totally open. Like this is a cute honeymoon place if you want a honeymoon in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I feel like this is such a cute place, so let's actually go upstairs because I haven't been up here yet. Oh, this is cute, it's so dark. This is definitely where the beeping is coming from though, it's so loud up here. Cute, right? Little couch, little couch, little table. This is like a good gaming spot. This is so cool, this railing is really cool. And then I'm gonna just like jump in here. We've got the bedroom. So we got a nice king size bed for Fancy and I. Got a skylight in here, which is so nice. So nice, so nice, so nice. Then we move into the bathroom here. So the bathroom also has access to the living room. But we got a little bathroom moment. We got a toilet. We've got a nice sink and mirror. And then the shower is actually Pretty huge, I gotta say. This is a nice, nice, nice shower. I like it. I also love like all the like natural light that they've got going on. They turned on the lights and stuff for me, which was very nice. Wow, 
I love it. Not my normal aesthetic at all, but it's amazing. What do you think? I would really like for you to eat some food because you're boycotting food, huh? She's just trying to figure out where she is. Oh wait, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. This is what you saw through the kitchen, this little deck area. There's no like chairs or anything on it, but right out into the woods. The only problem is, is there's no curtains or anything here. So like I'm telling you, this is where I get murdered. You wanna kinda explore the grounds, I think. I think you would be happy if we went outside. Yeah, let's go outside and explore. Okay, careful of the stairs. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna do that. Go to the right, yep, uh-huh. Yeah, you figured it out. I'm in a state of shock over this place. Like if this place was for sale, I would 100% buy it and turn it into an Airbnb, like just what they did. It's perfect, I'm obsessed with it. This is just like picture, picture perfect. Wow. Sunday, happy wedding day. Ended up taking the whole day yesterday just to myself, which is really nice. I drove around, saw all the places that I really wanted to see that I like needed to see for myself. And then I had lunch with my grandmother and then I just hung out. It was very casual. Actually, I did a little bit of filming for the main channel. So you guys will see that in a video coming up here soon. But yeah, it was a, it was a good day. I definitely needed to take one day just to myself. Wow, I look so, just like the coloring in here, There, there's none. Wow, okay. So anyway, so today we're gonna go exploring a little bit. Sad news though, the suction on my suction mount where I always put my camera is dying, which is kind of not surprising because I use that thing so hard and it's just, it's not, it's not doing what it needs to do anymore. And I think it was like maybe like $16 or something on Amazon. So I'm gonna buy myself another one. I rarely ever eat donuts but when I'm home, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I stood out like a sore freaking thumb in there. Oh my gosh, because I'm wearing, baby girl, can you guys hear like fancy sniffing my mic right now? I'm wearing like a high-waisted sweatpants with boots and a crop top. Like my look is not York, Pennsylvania, but also I was holding this camera and I just like felt people staring at me and I was like, I'm not gonna vlog him here. I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. I just like don't wanna be judged. Oh man, it just, it got the best of me, but I ended up getting a half dozen, which is like way overkill, but also like had to. Let me just like back my seat up here and I'll show you guys what I got. This is the best, the best donut spot. Like if you guys are in York or near York, you have to stop at Maple Donuts. I think there's, I know there's two locations. So maybe there's only two locations, uh, but it's the freaking greatest ever. Hold on, let me open this. Here's my beautiful half dozen. Okay, starting over here, we're gonna go across. So we got Fruity Pebbles. This is just plain vanilla. That one is pumpkin cream cheese. I don't know, sounded good. We got strawberry, what is that? Peanut butter, and then just a glazed. I definitely do not need six, but I didn't just wanna get one. So I figured let's just do six and then I got breakfast for tomorrow as well, right? What one do I wanna eat right now? I'm almost thinking the pumpkin cream cheese one. Back in the day before I found out that I had a problem with chocolate and specifically chocolate with soy in it, I used to get triple chocolate. So it was a chocolate donut with chocolate icing with chocolate chips on top. So good. They have seriously so many good ones and such a variety. And once I like saw how many they had that weren't chocolate, I was like, oh yeah, we gotta like do it up. We gotta, we gotta get six. Okay, I'm gonna try, I don't even know where to set you guys. I'm probably gonna make a mess on myself, but it's fine. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chris, I'm so sorry you can't enjoy these with me. If you were on my route home, I would bring you one but you're not on my route home. So I'm just gonna eat this in memory of you. 
I gotta say, while I lived in New York, I did not appreciate maple donuts as much as I should have appreciated maple donuts. But at the same time, that was probably a good thing because I don't need to be eating donuts all the time. Now, on to the fun stuff. We, gonna move my seat back. You guys wanna go see my high school? I'll like drive you around a little bit. I'll show you guys the road that I used to live on. I'm not gonna show you the house just because, I don't know, I feel like that's weird. Like, it's got new owners and like to just show off their house. I don't know, it feels weird. Change of plans, we're stopping at Starbucks. I was driving by, saw it, and was like, mmm, that sounds nice. So let me start the tour here, okay? So this used to be a Chinese restaurant, and growing up, I didn't like Chinese food. Honestly, it could have been my body just being like, girl, you're intolerant to this, you don't like it. But my family would get Chinese takeout, and right there, if you guys can see it, you can't because my window, hold on. Right there, do you see Wendy's? Yeah, I would get Wendy's for dinner, and my whole family would get Chinese here. But now, it's a Starbucks. So we're currently in this long line. It has not moved and I've been here for a couple of minutes at this point. So. Hi, can I get a grande iced matcha latte? And do you have oat milk? We sure do. With oat milk, please. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, 3578. Thank you. So this right here, where we're at, that building, my high school. This is where I used to park every day. Actually, I used to park like way over there because sorry it's a little bit windy so i'm gonna go back inside i didn't actually have a car so i always used one of my dad's cars and part of the time i drove his huge excursion and i was terrified of parking that thing so i always parked far away like on the farthest side but i also got to school so freaking early so that i could park when no one was here and i would leave when a lot of people had already left because it was just such a big car and I was not comfortable driving it, but that was the first car that I ever drove, like before I got my permit or anything. So I just have like fond memories of that car. I mean, I have fond memories of that car, honestly, because of like family excursions in it, you know, <laughs> driving down to the lake and everything else. Let's actually go over here, hold on. I don't think, yeah, no dogs on the sporting fields. That's what I kind of thought. Okay, sweet girl, mama, we'll be right back promise uh good old high school the gate to the baseball field is open but i can also show you guys the football field i don't know if i can get into the football field is the thing it looks like all the gates are closed it used to be just like kind of open and anyone could go in that gate's operated by a key they like locked this thing down this used to not be as locked down as it is right now So here's the high school baseball field. I did not play softball or anything. So like, why does this have sentimental value to me? Okay, so let me see if I can share it with you guys. Do you guys see that road right there? That road, I used to live on that street. So I could actually walk up to the school and my friend Becca and I, we used to always walk through here. And I remember I've got a photo of Becca like right in this walkway area where a bird pooped on her. But we used to come up here all the time and mom, if you're watching this, don't watch this, okay? Because when I was in high school, I used to sneak out of the house and I would come up here and I would sit on the field, not by myself, okay? I was always with a friend or I used to meet my, like, my boyfriend up here, which he had so far to walk to do that. Like, that was very irresponsible of us to do, but also high school kids being idiots, you know? And it just like holds such sentimental value to me, like all the memories that I have on this hill, like sneaking out at night, coming here for one, just like doing dumb kid shit. But also I would just like come here during the day and like on weekends and like whenever Becca and I were doing whatever Becca and I were doing, like I just remember coming to this baseball field. I don't know if I honestly ever watched a game here, but I just like have a lot of, I don't know, good memories are on this baseball field. The ground is a little cold. Oh gosh, can I get up here? Yeah, okay, we got it. Um, oh yes, this gate is open. A little sneaky, 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 sneak. Ah, <sighs> wow. This is the place where my high school boyfriend asked me out. You know, sentimental value here. A lot of sentimental value. I also have a really great photo shoot of my best friend Becca and I over here. 
doing ridiculous things. Like if I can find those photos, actually I know exactly where those photos are. So I think I'm gonna include them in this video. I'm trying to think of where I wanna take you guys next and I'm like trying to come up with like cool things to show you. But honestly, like this high school, for one, my high school, but two, this is where I had my first job. So I was first a swim teacher here. I became a water safety instructor and a lifeguard. And then I lifeguarded here and I also did a little bit of work at the JCC. But like I've got, I lived in three houses when I lived in York. So the house that was like near the high school was the last one that I lived in. I lived there from middle school all the way through high school until I moved out in college the other two houses I don't really know if I want to go and see necessarily like I I remember I don't remember living in the first one because I lived there up until like second grade for me so I was like seven maybe when we moved out like I was pretty young and then no I wasn't even seven was I I don't even know. I was young when we lived in that house. And then the second house we lived in, I remember living there. I think we should go back. I have the wedding today at three o'clock. So I think I need to leave my place at like 2.15. And it's not really gonna take me long at all to get ready, but I do definitely need to go and get ready. I feel like you guys have never seen me with this much makeup on. I haven't seen myself with this much makeup on in a very, very long time. I actually put on eyeshadow. Who am I? I have my pearls on. I am feeling so cute right now, so cute. The only problem is I didn't bring hairspray and I know the front pieces of my hair are gonna fall out of this. So I think I'm gonna quickly stop by Target. I have like an hour 15 until the wedding. So I think I'm gonna pop by Target real quick, get some hairspray and then head to the wedding. I'm ready to like dance it up, freaking party, even though I'm not drinking tonight cause we're driving tonight just to show you guys my look. These are going to be my dancing shoes. I've got my high heels in here and everything else. I have too much stuff, okay? And this just makes it easier to carry to the car. So, cute dress. Sunglasses are obviously not staying here, but feeling hot. The um, neighbor across the way was outside with his dog and was definitely watching me. <laughs> oh no, that's, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm here, I made it. I have no idea where I'm going. Like, I don't know where the wedding is. I gotta put on my shoes, I gotta hairspray my hair, but also there's a lot of people around. Uh, so hopefully I can just like follow one of these people to the destination. <laughs> also my dress is super staticky, which I discovered while walking through Target. So that's fun for me, love that. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It is 7.40 in the morning and I am getting ready to head out of here. I've got everything almost all packed and I'm gonna start putting some stuff in my car and get ready to go. So that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you guys back here soon with another one. Bye guys. Also just like holding my lens cap. Let me just like close this out for happiness. Bye.